I said nothing. I, I, I only heard, like, your last word, so... Hopefully it didn't intrude. I was invited, though. No, you're not intruding at all. Uh, what did you need to talk to me about? Um, okay, so I did something bad. Do I need mm, to that's leave? fine. No, you're fine. I, that's fine? Maybe, in, in well, response? maybe join the conversation and don't lurk on top of a pot of plants. Yeah. Oh. My bad. You're, okay, so let me get this right. Your response into me saying I did something bad is that's fine? Um, yeah. What if I was confessing I was cheating on you? Would that be fine? Oh, please don't do that. Don't say it out loud. No. Don't put that into the no. universe. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to Are you going to cheat on me? No, I'm not going to cheat on you. Oh, my God. For shame. I just, I just figured that when you did something bad, you probably had a reason to do it. I, oh. Me too, me too. She didn't hear us. No, I did. I did. Oh. Oh, that's good. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> um, no, but um, I okay. I there was a wedding tonight for other people, mm. and I attended the wedding, and well, no, I crashed the wedding. His wedding. Uh, Yumiko and Nimbus. Oh, I don't know them. Okay, good. I objected to their marriage, so... That's fine. Like I said, I don't know them. I but can... why do you ob I... object their marriage? I can tell you later. Okay. I just want to make that clear to you before anybody else tells you what I did. Because I did okay, something well... bad. You had a reason to do it, correct? She said it was you guys it. broke up. What? We broke up? I had to make... No, we did not break we up. I had to make the story believable. No, we did not break up. We didn't 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 break up. No, 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 no. think I should be the one to find out among the first group? No, 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 no. Okay. 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 In order to make the story that I told believable, I had to say that my relationship was ruined. Because, okay, okay, so I have to, okay, so to explain, Marina had told me and Kano about, a, a, apparently, another curse that happens whenever two people marry from two different kingdoms of two different races and then they birth children apparently there is a curse that happens um uh, since I don't when know if it's maybe i'm just I out of the know. loop but i okay i don't know i don't know if it's true marina just like told me that um, i don't recall this ever being mentioned to me but maybe it's just never been brought up because i don't know honestly if people keep telling me that curses exist, I'm gonna start believing that they don't. Because, like, what? You're cursed to love me forever. You can't escape. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I love that for you. Yeah, yeah. So, no, you no, no going to a wedding and being like, oh, yeah, me and my girlfriend broke up without telling me we broke up. <laughs> I'm sorry. We did, we're not broken up, though. Okay? It's okay, fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay, good, because I'm quite literally, I am, I am planning to make a nice bedroom in my lab for you, and I put a lot of work into it. Oh. It's not decorated me. yet. Uh, I, it, look, it's fine. I, I plan on doing things around here, too, to make it more comfortable for you. So, I don't plan on that happening anytime soon. I just thought I should let you know. So that way you're aware and not in the dark oh but then that well i'm 
not sure how to describe the nether like the nether's kind of seen as like a very dark place but with all the lava it's actually oh really God. bright huh karma you know what i mean though so you're not so someone other than me doesn't tell you mm. that you and seem to you overestimate know. how much i'm actually told okay i don't leave the lab <laughs> too often okay well you know what you're gonna leave the, you should you know what we should plan we should plan outings for you to get you Dates? out of the lab you guys can go to a wedding tomorrow as a date who's there's another, another wedding? wedding there's another wedding i mean i'm above a ball sorry oh right there is a ball tomorrow <laughs> oh i think i've heard of that about that do i have to rsvp i never rsvp'd we c an no, I, the book doesn't say that we need to RSVP, so I think we're okay. I don't think we need to. Is there a dress code? Um, it said like serpents. Uh, can wear anything flower related, snake or anything formal. I will wear the dress I wore to the Elven Ball. That is exactly what I am doing. That's what <laughs> I'm, I'm just, doing. I'm just removing the butterflies. So. Oh, um, so for the Elven Ball, I kind of just stole the dress out of, um, Morgan's closet in her room. I think it may have been our mother's or something. Yeah, and I knew, like, the, the theme for, like, the women's dress was, like, I think it was butterflies, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. well, since I kind of did it last minute and I stole the dress, I was like, okay, well, there's, there's red butterflies in the crimson biome, so... That was my justification. And now my justification for wearing that same dress is that snakes can be red. Yeah, snakes can be red. Yeah. I got justification yeah. for it. Yeah, justification. It does technically say any formal wear. So I guess we're okay with that if we just wear the normal stuff. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Well... I guess I will probably go to the ball. Uh, I will double check with Morgan to make sure that like it's fine and I there's no nothing I should be aware of because like I said I'm out of the loop on a lot of things. I don't know what our current political relations are at the moment, but I'll, like I'll, I well, might be able to go. Yeah, it's the Seraphs ball. Yeah. Oh, do we trust him? I don't. <laughs> I haven't particularly... Well, okay. I have not had very many personal conversations with any of the Seraphs. I do distinctly remember at the Elven Ball, though, that I was approached by one, and I talked with them for a bit, and then later on we heard them talk about how they think they may have befriended us, and then apparently said something about spying. So... Mm, Yeah, I don't know. Um, we, so we went to their execution a couple of weeks ago. That oh, an event. At. Yeah, it was an execution that they held, um, and they, quote unquote, executed a member of their, quote unquote, executed a member of their kingdom, and then exact, and then right after executing them, picked them back up, so they didn't actually die. And they stated that it was for a task. So they held a whole event to, for an execution for somebody who didn't actually die. But then, Ooh. somehow, the Lord Keeper told them that it didn't count. So then, they turned around and announced an actual execution. And all of a sudden, their advisor was planning to usurp them and kill all the heirs and the princess. And so they actually executed their advisor. Why would the Lord Keeper help them? That's disgusting. Know. Yes. I'm, so I'm, I'm less caught up them. on the advisor randomly either, you know, committing treason or choosing to sacrifice themselves for their kingdom task, but the fact that they had a comp, like, I'm assuming a common civilian caught up in quote-unquote execution as well. Like, the pain is still there. Yeah. That's horrendous. So we, I don't trust them because we actually, we used our camouflage skills and we went invisible and 
we actually watched the actual execution and they did give a reason for it, but it was just like. Can I break a kingdom law real quick? Why? What are you doing? Well, I wanted to be included on the invisibility. However, Karma. I think this is a long lasting potion, so I'll be invisible for a while. R.A.P. Sorry, someone died. Is it really breaking the law if I ask permission? I I went in camouflage as an example. I'm not in camouflage anymore. Do I do not go invisible. <laughs> oh. It'll last for a long time. I've had this since the Elven Ball. It's gonna go moldy or something. Okay, well, you know what? I'll give you permission to break the law at some point, but, like, I I, I just use my camouflage as, as an example. <laughs> Can't wait missiles. to go to your advisor and be like, hey, I got permission to break the law of your kingdom. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, no. Um, That's what happened, and we were, we, me, Kano, and um, Kaya, we were all invisible, and we watched their actual execution. They gave a reason... And apparently, Ira can back up that reason because they were there. Um, they were there because Ira was there while the um advisor was being interrogated. But it's just like such a weird thing, you know? Like it's just it was so weird how it played out, and I'm just convinced that they actually like, just like executed their advisor so they could complete the task. That's and that's a reasonable suspicion. Um, I will it like it makes sense to me. I disagree with like if if an execution, an actual crime had been broken, lined up with a task. That is fortunate timing. However, being as they had a had to host a fake execution and then had to scramble afterwards it's, yeah it's just very fishy i don't like using tasks as justification to harm people yeah if there's more than um, if there's more to the justification than just the task then i will put more thought into it However, if it's like, oh, I have a task to do this thing and it involves hurting people, I'm going to do it. That's not right. But if it's like, this person has done something to wrong me and I have a task now that wants me to harm them, like, you have, like, there's, it's not just, you're not doing it because it's the task, you're doing it because you want to do it. I mean, I mean, we, we were talking about this kind of earlier. I mean... I'm against hurting others if it's just for the sake of doing it for the task. I don't like to act out of spite, uh, just on my pure emotion, though. We were talking about something that Morgan had did earlier to Marina. And I was telling Anthony earlier, I'm not, I feel like me and Morgan would have more in common than you would think. Because I, for the people of my kingdom and for the people who are close to me, I will gladly murder someone. So. Well, yeah, I think a lot of people would. Like, when you are in charge of a kingdom, they are looking at you for guidance. And it, their fate is on your shoulders. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to ensure their safety. See, no, I'm not the only person with that train of thought. I I didn't say anyone else didn't. I kind of agreed with you, actually. Yeah, like, if it comes to protecting those I care about or protecting my people, yes, I will go to extremes. War. Yeah, no. I, I, I will admit it. I have pushed for war multiple times. Um... My sister is much more peace-loving than I am. 
Okay, have you ever pushed for war against the elves? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, mm. <laughs> not war, um, but I was very upset. It was a misunderstanding that we had that we have now worked out. The first time we okay. we worked it out during that first meeting, I believe, um, after you kind of became acting princess when Melody had gone on her vacation. Um, and But we had, like, suspected that your advisor was in our kingdom, um, invisible, sneaking around, and that he had also come by unannounced and ran into me. And it just was a series of miscommunications and misunderstandings, I guess. Uh, so, I guess talking does work. Um, but yes, uh, I was <laughs> on the more stern side of the conversation. I guess talking does work. <laughs> Well, you guys, the elves are, like, this is here for a reason. We probably shouldn't just, you know, like, nuke our, nuke our relations. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, get back in here. I don't think Anthony's listening to me. Well... Anthony, oh. Anthony, get out. <laughs> Do you think I went through? Anthony, you didn't have permission to go through. If you went through, I would let karma kill you. <gasps> Your own brother? I don't think I could murder my... Oh. I, I, like, I don't think going through the portal as I'm watching him go through the portal would result in me immediately drawing my sword and being like, Welp, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's more, I was more confused. I'm like, okay, I didn't know if you actually went in or not because obviously you were invisible. So I wasn't sure if you're actually out here or if you're actually in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's get away from the portal before Anthony decides to do something stupid. I'm not always stupid. Mm, stupid's not bad. It can be charming for some people. <laughs> for some people. Anthony. I, well, Kano was advertising Anthony as a very eligible bachelor, so. Yeah, that's not, he's not a bachelor anymore. Yeah, I'm aware, but, like, I'm just saying that, like, the <gasps> dimness might be sought after. Not, I'm not calling you dim, I'm just saying, and, um, yeah. Well, he was forced into his marriage, so it's not like his wife married him for his attributes. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sure some people would find you very appealing, Anthony. I do not. Very eligible prior to your marriage. By the way, am I allowed to say something to her? Like what? Words? Am I allowed to tell her? About what? About, about the thing. I don't think you guys are on the same page. The twins are public knowledge. Okay, thank God. Okay, he's <laughs> he's having he's having babies. He's having twins. Oh, you move fast. <laughs> <laughs> she just didn't know, and I I was just like, am I allowed to say that to her? Um, but yeah, he's having kids now. Oh well, um, congrats. Mm -hmm. Is this good news? It's. As good as it's going to get with their situation, yes. Oh, congrats. I wish they grow Thank up you. well. Maybe you can be their aunt. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Well, if I'm going to be oh, their aunt, it's either going to be through first. you or Melody, <laughs> and I, I think you're my better shot. Yeah, I, I really do think I'm your better shot, too, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, his child, or maybe if one of them is born an elf, 
will be heir to the throne. Mm. Well, second, well, first in line to the throne. Um, okay. And then, yep, and then, but if I have children, then my kid will usurp yours, so, ha. Does it really usurp if yours, like, if you are active? No, not yours. It wouldn't be a usurp, it would be more of like a, um, I had child, I am acting princess, so my kid is more important than yours. And that. Oh, don't tell them that your kid is more important than his kid, that would really fuck them up. Okay, <laughs> I won't say that. I get his rightful claim to the throne before yours. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it would be understand. Yes, it would be understandable that your children would have greater claim to the throne than his children. I Do you live here? I'm, um... My room is empty. Then yes, it makes cl it makes a lot of sense for <laughs> if you were to have children, for your children to have higher claim to the throne prior <laughs> instead of his child, whose father does not live here. I just yeah. visit a lot. Um, Kano uh will be joining us shortly. Is it a conversation I should leave for? Um, I don't think so because I already told you what I did. So, like, it's okay. happened, so I, I, there's no keeping that a secret. But, yeah. Well, so, you caught, um, you probably could have kept it a secret for quite a while before I find out. I don't really, yeah. I don't really talk to anyone outside the nether prior, besides you and Lord Anthony. I mean, that's understandable. I just don't want to keep a secret from you. I appreciate that. If I don't, I don't have any secrets I can think of at the moment. Good. Glad to hear that. Ooga booga. But uh, yeah, I was. I don't ignore him. I don't know what he's doing. He just does things sometimes. But I was ah. thinking about changing up the room situation uh. since Anthony doesn't live here anymore. I was going to turn Anthony's room into my bedroom, and uh, Anthony has, like, a space above his area, so we can make that into, like, or I can make that into, like, a study or anything like that. Can we go, can we go barge into his bedroom? Yeah, we can barge into his bedroom. We just have to go up the stairs, because his room is literally right above mine. But this is what his room looks like as of right now. Oh. It's very empty because he literally took all of his stuff. But there is a space above his room that could be a study or anything up there. But I'm debating on what I would do is because I would move the staircase because I don't like it in the middle of the room. But I would definitely build, make the room a bigger bed. And then my bedroom would turn into, what are you stealing? <laughs> I have not taken anything. Okay. <laughs> but, no, my bedroom would turn into, like, a storage room or maybe a, a, uh, or, you know, a guest room or, I don't know. Oh, God, we both are going oh, through renovations. The future. Yeah, we both are going through renovations. Because <laughs> Anthony moved out, and I think Anthony has the better room, and I was in the basement. So. Well, yeah, the... Two stories in a bedroom is very appealing compared to a basement bedroom. Yeah. Because my bedroom is that way, so... Oh yes, I remember. I've been in there. Yes. Um, where'd Anthony go? Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, hi. Good day. Hello. Good day. It's good to see you, Lady Kama. Uh, you as well. The gang's all here. Sorry. Um, Mostly. Am I, you... am I included um, in you... that? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I don't think it's an issue. Do you? For her to be here? I thought yeah. I was being a part of the gang. I I don't think so. As I think as as long as uh, yes. Lady Morgan's okay with you being out here, then I I don't see why not. Mm, I can ask for permission, but like I she told me a while back I'm allowed to leave, so I think I'm fine. All right. Um. Well, I mean, I I have no problem with you 
being here personally, so you're welcome to come and go as you please. Are you gonna yell at me? Oh. Ah. Are you expecting me to yell at you? Maybe, I don't know. I... You you went with pretty solid reasoning, to be fair. I was not expecting an objection from you. Um, but, uh, I mean, the way you worded it was, was quite well. Um, I think what you expressed made sense, especially considering what we just talked about. Though I, I will say you might be out to be a hit, bit of a hypocrite, considering the relationship you currently have. Um, but, um... No, I, th I think that was quite fair. I think it was good that you brought it up. It, I, Kaya knows, because you were there as well, but I was able to use it as a good opportunity to remind everyone that, you know, in a world that is in constant turmoil, it, it's important that we recognize the promises that we make are not to be made lightly, that there are consequences. And so Umiko and Nimbus are both aware of that consequence and are willing to accept that. So I, I think what you brought up actually made the ceremony stronger. That's what I said to her. The, what Nimbus said was very cute. Yes. So, yeah. um... Um, my reasoning behind doing that was not the actual reason that I brought up to everyone. Okay. Um, I did it... You don't have to say. Of, no, in a way of terms, for me to... For you to understand, I did it for Melody. Okay. I think I think I know what you're saying. Um, I mean, I I assumed already based on the, the fact that you messaged me and told me not to question anything, and I've learned what that tends to mean. Um, but I appreciate the uh, implications nonetheless. Um, and that's more than fine. I'm sorry you couldn't attend. I mean, obviously they invited you to attend, but I'm sorry you weren't able to see the ceremony and everything else post. It was it was quite fun. I I let loose more than I usually do. Is is quite a quite an experience. Well, that's good. I'm glad you had the opportunity to do that. Um, I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad after I did that. Um, I didn't like doing it. I didn't want to do it. But... Hmm. Annabelle had an anxiety attack in her room. I felt Whoa. bad. I had no right to. I had no right to have like that. But I, it's I okay. If 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 it helps, if it helps, the wedding was still great. Everybody had a good time. Everyone was laughing. No, no vibes were down. No, yes. Everything stayed pretty stable. The vibage was uninterrupted. Yes. And I will say again that I think I did quite a good job fielding it and turning it into an opportunity for some good conversation. So, um, you did. I, I think I handled it quite well. I told you he was going to yeah. handle it well. Also, Kano thinks I'm stinky. I don't appreciate that. Do you smell bad? <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was no. It was, a, it was. It was. We had a question and answer like um thing where it's like you know, you know at weddings you sometimes we'll have those um moments where we say oh who's more likely to do something versus the bride and the groom and then Umiko took it on it uh, herself to ask us questions like that and so it was posited whether um who's stinkier Max or Kaya and I had to be honest and say well I've actually smelled Kaya on our expeditions before and I think that they can be quite sweaty and stinky when we're out adventuring because Kaya's a bit of a tryhard. <laughs> I'm a sweat, what can I say? Precisely. Okay. So I don't know why you think it's such a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You I just didn't know you were going to say it out loud. <laughs> I didn't say you're so. smelly. I just said you stink. It's a different sort of thing. The same are, thing. Are Is that stink? not the same thing? Um, they, they are very similar words. Also, sorry, I did dig at you with the whole deodorant thing. I don't know if you actually wear deodorant or not. We, we tend to use more essential oil type things here in the Elven Kingdom, but, you know, at least there's anti I why is bet. That okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just stop. Um, Karma. I was I was intrigued. Fine. Um, you smell fine. You smell like clothes. That yep. <laughs> Is that bad? I, did you I, use Did you use Febrez <laughs> to to? to I don't know. Yourself? I just I just found this. Oh, in terms of like the odor. No, no, I was, I was, people. I was just saying. I, I was wondering if you used Febrez. I don't think that's the first time oh, I've sniffed somebody. Yes. Perfume. Yes. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It was an unlabeled thing. I just used it. Oh, I see. That's fair. It's like food make... to clothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to make that a boundary in our relationship right now. Please stop <laughs> sniffing people. Can I sniff you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, that's not really about. Now, I will say. Now I can brag that I've been sniffed by Lady Karma. Oh, please no do one not else do that. that. 
I won't. have an I image won't. to uphold. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I promise. I promise. Yes, I was gonna say I would be careful, Lady Annabelle, that that um, restrictions on a person within a relationship make sense, but I would not recommend telling Lady Karma how to behave herself around other people. Otherwise, that could be seen as controlling. I was oh. just going to ask that you stop <gasps> sniffing people randomly. <laughs> it was not random. The conversation led up to it. It was an opportunity that was that, presented. I think, I think asking your significant other to stop sniffing other people is a rather... <laughs> I think it's it's very valid, but I'm simply saying just don't <laughs> force her to do it. Because if... No. Because, yes. No, I respect your opinion. Reason. I will not randomly go up and sniff people. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh my god. Um <clears throat> but yes, so no, the wedding was fun. It was it went really well. Um I was surprised to see Marina there without you there, but perhaps she just didn't tell you that she was going. Marina was there? Uh, for a brief I d she, I didn't she think she was going. She showed up for the, the final bits. Yes. Well you told me she was six and I assume she was staying, but no, she showed up at the very end, um, had a few gifts to give. Um went off with Thea for a little while, but then otherwise that was about it. She didn't say anything. Oh. That's okay. I mean, I did kind of throw your wife under the bus today, so... Oh! She didn't that know that, true. though. She doesn't know that, though. Unless Someone somebody told her. Told her. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if somebody... Did. I mean, I, I will say, um, to be fair, without sp spoiling anything that no one else already knows, part of the information she got was through Charlotte and Umiko, because they are the ones that were being referred to at the initial one curse that you talked about, so I think they yep. may have thought you were talking about that, mm -hmm. in which case I feel like they they didn't seem to make too much of it, at least in public. Okay. I mean, that's good. Um, we did, me and Anthony did visit Melody's ice prison Okay. later, or, or after um and they did show up to the they did show up there we did see yes nimbus and yumiko there uh nimbus seemed intent on wanting to uh honor those who uh were no longer around or at least weren't present at the wedding mm -hmm. there's a special part of what they did i mean that's good i definitely appreciate it it was just a little awkward <laughs> that's fair right. sorry i was parched <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parch apparently hurts you. Um, yeah, no. Um, I was scared you were going to yell at me. That's the only thing. Um, <laughs> that, that's about it. Um, no, I, I have no reason to yell at you. Okay, good. Now, I will say it might be a good idea for us to give them a gift, because I, I got paid by them to be there, so I didn't think I'd need to give them something but I might still be good for the Elven Kingdom's wedding because I think Kai is the only one who actually brought them something and Thea. Yeah. Um, I and Charlotte. Oops. Will and they gave give... us gifts back. This I is what give... they gave us. You missed the good Mine. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will see about giving them a, a gift. Maybe they will take money. <laughs> what would be a gift? What would be I, a you know, gift like, to give someone for a wedding? Giving money as a gift doesn't show much thought behind it. However, I don't newlyweds need to, like, furnish a house or something. Maybe uh, they do I need money. Say, if you could either do that or, I mean, I will say, if you give money with a very specific intent, people will tend to appreciate that. So if you say, here, we have some funds that I'd like to give you to um, sponsor the creation of, you know, a house for you and Nimbus to live in, then people will be like, oh, yes, of course, pay us money. Um, so, I think if you've got thought behind what you're doing, then I think that's also fine. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Get rid of all the couches we can't sit in. Uh, <laughs> we have, what do you mean? Oh, oh you mean the couches, give... the, the decorative couches? I hate those things. Yes. You They're have disgusting. decorative couches? But Melody really liked yeah. them, I will say. Melody loves decorative couches. Oh, no, that we have to keep them. What? Purpose. Oh, I didn't no, know don't give those them. away. I also think she put them in her room. That's literally, they're literally in her they're room. In my, they're in my room, too. Oh, well, then that's your choice. You chose that one. <laughs> you, do you just stare at them? Okay. Yeah. I think I need to show you what, what they are. So if you follow me, <laughs> for, I'll take in a trip into the castle. I, I know what they look like myself, but I think for Kama's sake, yes. Look at the door. 
this. This is a decorative couch. Yes. You cannot sit in it. Why does it Stand look on it. shiny? Because they're expensive. <laughs> they're leather. I don't know. Ew, we use leather here? I don't Rush know. Is it faux leather? Probably. Um, well, yeah, at least yeah, it no. does look nice. Um, however, yes, if it's, if it's not fit to sit on, then I guess you can sit on the floor. Your feet are getting on the couch. <laughs> no one's gonna sit on it. Night Kai doesn't smell stinky currently. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you finally exactly. got your nice suit. What? You know, I, I go in different outfits. You're just not around to see them. I do have you, pajamas. Do you wash your uniform? Yes. How regularly? I'd say every, like, probably like, every day or two. Okay. Let's be like one of those baking <laughs> smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, like when you use a, like a, a pan in the oven for too long, it starts to get that brown stuff all over it. That's oh. good for oh, it. It's God. like that. Your armor's just imbued with the scent of your sweat. That is... <laughs> anyway. I, I don't want to catch you no more strays. <laughs> I don't want to catch you no more strays. Honestly, Anthony's been catching so many strays for me today. I don't know what, what? I have against him. Uh, yeah, yes, he has from you. And, and not just what? from our what, short what kind conversation kind of I've had with you today. Um, what, what kind of strays? Earlier, me and I... Earlier, Anthony had told Karma about uh, the babies. And <laughs> Karma was saying, oh, and we were having a conversation about Anthony's eligibility before he was forced to be wed. And uh, and I was like, Anthony. And I was like, and she, Karma was saying things like, oh, well, I guess he's appealing <laughs> to some people. Um, and I said, well, I mean, he was forced to marry his wife. I don't know how appealing she thought of him. I don't think she married him for his <laughs> attributes, but that that he caught Obviously it. made in chat now. What? It's obvious. Princess Marina said, I'm being ignored by my husband, can't believe it. And then Anthony said, I'm sorry, Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also. Also, um, I I got something at the wedding and I can't really use it. So What do you mean? I thought it was quite a special thing that you got it. I, it is, but it's also really depressing. It's cute. Well, Here. there's nothing. There's nothing in the night code that says that if you didn't want to find love, you couldn't find it. Especially with Kring. He's had a good precedent. For I I know, but I, I just take that. I don't want to fight a losing battle. If if you know why, they're flowers. I don't know either the groom nor the bride. It's flowers. <gasps> Kano. What? How is your trip? Oh yes, um, I, I, it was very, very interesting. Um, I will gladly tell you more about it. Uh, I don't know if now is necessarily the best time. I would like to be able to prepare an official report on the things that I found, as I think you will find it quite interesting. Um, but I can say this: good news. I was able to find many, many magnolias, and I've brought them back. <gasps> Um, so we will have a plethora of them for your coronation. Yay! Yes. So okay. I, I will say that very much. Um, and I did find quite a lot of information. Um, there's some things that I, I was not expecting to find that I ended up encountering somewhat. But again, I, I will right. write a more official report for you. I think it'll be better mm -hmm. in that way as compared to it possibly being just loosely delivered here. Um, yes. So I, I think... You know, some some point before your coronation, I will gladly give you a report on everything I have learned, um, pertaining to everything that was asked yes. of me. Um, but I also speaking of my coronation, I wrote up a draft. If you would like to read that, oh. it's a draft invitation. Is one more allowed to join us? Oh what? Is is one more person allowed to join us? Who is it? Hey, my wife. Yeah, my wife. Oh, she's gonna go <laughs> my wife. My wife. Well, okay, well, if, if she doesn't say anything, we don't gotta bring it up. Mm -hmm. I'll she... take this invitation. 
and okay. Um, are you trying to are you trying to hold up the image of what you said during speech? So I need to leave. No, you're fine. It's fine. If she yells at me, will you protect me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what am I? I. I mean, fair. <laughs> Hello. Nope. Okay. Hello. No, come back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Greetings. Greetings. This I... feels like a family meeting. You are Karma, correct? I am. Okay. Never had a formal inter in formal introduction with you, so I'm trying not to make an assumption, but I can make the assumption based on your wings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do not venture out of the nether frequently. Understandable. I mean, if you want a formal introduction, I can definitely give you one. Um, I, I, would, I will gladly take a formal one. Uh, Marina, this is Lady Karma of the uh, Netherian Kingdom and my girlfriend. Love that. Love that. <laughs> As the resident polypan of the mares, you better believe... Uh, of, actually, of the heirs in general. The resident polypan of the heirs, you better believe there's no judgment from me. Uh... Glad to hear it. 